Hey loves, we're back with a YouTube video. Uh, my heart is super heavy right now. But I'm going to try to deliver God's word for y'all as much as I can. So, if God says no to a relationship or a job or anything, you know it's it's the best answer for you. Rebellious, rebelling against God's decision will only hurt you in the end. So, if God tell you not to do something, then don't do it. I think I did this topic before, but I want to bring it back again. Um, if God tell you not to do something, oh, and if you're new here, comment, like, subscribe here to my channel. The reason why is to give you guys work and to uplift your spirits the best way that I can. But, um, if God tells you no not to do something, then don't do it because you're going against God. So, he don't like that. Once you go against him, he not going to help you out or whatever. He's not going to help you do anything because it's going to be like, I told you not to do such and such. And you would have did it anyway. So, you got to... Pay for the consequences. You didn't do what you said that you would do. You told me that you wouldn't do this mistake. And you wouldn't do it anyway. You're not supposed to do that. So you have to listen to God. And you have to obey God. If he tells you not to go somewhere. Or not to talk to somebody. Don't go to that place. Or don't talk to that person. And he tell me how to sound like. Don't talk to this person. Don't go here. Don't go there. Or he'll make it to where I don't get to talk to them. Or he'll make it to where I don't get to go to that place. So like he does everything for a reason. We might not understand the reason. But he knows why he did what he did. And the reason why he did what he did is always best. Because either one, it could be, it could have been a bad situation. You could have got hurt if you went out there to that particular particular area. That person probably was bad for your life. Meaning they were talking bad on you. That person could have hurt you. That person could have did anything to you. So that's why the reason why he said to not talk to that person or be around them is because they're not good. Their spirit is not right. So you don't need to be around nobody that that their spirit is not right correctly. Especially if they don't follow Jesus. Why well, would you want to be around somebody that don't follow him? You know, you can't be around people that don't follow Jesus. You need to be around people that follow Jesus, that works with Jesus, that talks about Jesus, that's all about him. Because at the end of the day, those are your people that you should be around. Because... You know they're good people but if they don't believe in Jesus and they're not trying to get to know who he is why would you want to be around him for I will you know if I didn't know who Jesus was but I do but I'm just saying if I didn't know who Jesus was I would love to learn I would love to get in the church I would love to you know read his word all of those things so it's like you have to do what's right at the end of the day because God is your best advocate he's your best provider he's going to be there when all your friends leave he's going to be there through whatever you know, Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. He said that in his word. He just wants you to get your life right with him. That's all he wants you to do is go get baptized. Y'all have all this time to go get baptized and y'all play around. Why? Why don't y'all want to go get baptized? Why don't y'all want to go spread his word? You know, he, uh, that's all he wants you to do. That's it. That's all. Just spread his word and get um baptized. That's it. Like, Y'all do all this other stuff, but y'all don't want to do what's important. And then when it's time to go to heaven and he don't let you in, who fault is that? Yours, because he gave you chances after chances to come to him and talk to him. He's always available for you guys. You don't, don't wait till the last minute and be like, oh, I should have did it when I was on earth because you're not going to have time. So that's why you should give your life to Christ now and, you know, know that things will get better. You no, know, it will get better. You have to be in prayer. And you have to talk to him consistently. Every single day, you have to talk to Jesus and let him know how you're feeling. Um, but yeah, if he tells you no not to do something, then don't go against him. Because he's there for you when no one else is. So don't go against God. You know, don't do that. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to go against someone that helps you 24-7. So, you know, don't go against him. Do what he told you to do. And leave it at that. But yeah. I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys like this vlog. Give me a big thumbs up. Um, Like I said if you're new here. In the beginning like I said if you're new here. Comment like subscribe. I hope this um lifts your, lift you guys spirits up. And I hope you got a word from this. I can show you guys the word before I end it. Um. Let me see. Show you guys where I'm reading from. I hate when it does that. Okay, so I'm reading the pink part. Right there at the top. 
So yeah, can you guys see that? Let me know. Well, yeah, that's where I'm reading from. Let me know if you guys can see that. I might go live and see if you guys are going to laugh. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm in the vlog here. Bye, loves.